If your Mediterranean whims and fantasies manifest in the form of summery days by sapphire waters in the shade of ancient walled towns, Rovi in Croatia is the place to turn them into reality. Located on the west coast of the Istrian Peninsula, it's the Croatian version of Saint Tropez before all the glitz and glamour, charming artistic and laid-back vibe. Yet with its tightly packed colourful houses, multiple boutique stores and medieval towns, Rovi still manages to attract affluent visitors, all without feeling posh or pretentious. Put simply, Rovi is one of those places you easily fall in love with, one of those places that simply feels right. Planning your next vacation? In this video, we will guide you on the best things to do in this beautiful port city of Rovi, so you can skip Italy and the French Riviera altogether. Whether it's ancient ruins, unfrequented beaches or even breathtaking natural spaces, we have curated the perfect Rovi itinerary. Are you ready? Let the adventure begin! Visit the old town. Cool, calm and collected as it may seem, Ravi was once an island until Venetians conducted a major land reclamation project in 1763. That aside, the city's historic old town is a medieval tangle of densely packed, colourful houses lined with tight, cobbled streets and alleys. As you ease your way through the historical heart of Ravi, you'll also notice the Venetian influence on Ravi. Tito Square in particular is heavily influenced by the city's Italian past, and it has brightly coloured walls and bright wooden shutters to show for it. Wrapped together, all these interlocking elements made the old town a photographer's dream, so be sure to wipe those camera lenses. Get artistic at St Euphemia's Church from the Old Town, take a stroll to Grisia, which is Ravi's artistic corner. Stretching from the town square to St Euphemia's Church, it is bustling with fine art galleries and you'll come across works of art by both veteran and aspiring artists. The church itself houses multiple statues, frescoes and treasured 16th century paintings, with the most popular being the Last Supper painting. And in case you want to shop, there are multiple boutique stores selling merchandise and collectibles. Climb the Bell Tower Towering 60 metres above the ground, the Rovi Bell Tower is rumoured to be a replica of St Marco's in Venice. Although in a smaller dimension, in the past the tower has served many purposes, including being a defence watchtower and a one-cell prison. Fast forward to today, it has been repurposed into a bureau de change and it's also a major tourist attraction in the town. The tower's 192 rickety steps usher you to the top, where you'll be rewarded with 300 160 degree panoramic views of surrounding towns, vineyards and mountains in the distance. Grab yourself lunch. Although Croatia is a small country, it has been heavily influenced by many different types of cultures over the centuries. This diversity is reflected in the amazingly rich and robust food, wine and gastronomical scene. Istria's Italian connection is also clear from the huge number of traditional oven pizzerias in places like Rovi and the trip here would be incomplete without trying a slice. For a genuine taste of footsie pasta topped with truffle gratings, there are multiple dining spots across Ravi. Speaking of truffles, Istria's damp oak forests produce a copious amount of truffles and their fresh scent will get your stomach rumbling. Fun fact! Did you know that the all-time largest white truffle in the world was discovered near Bouye in 1999? Weighing 1.31 kilograms, it was eventually auctioned for a whopping $330,000. That was one lucky farmer. Take a history lesson at Pula. Whether you are a history buff or not, a trip down to Pula is not to be missed. 
located just about 10 kilometers to the south of Istria. Pula is a popular tourist destination, all thanks to its ancient monuments and ruins. Here, the big landmark in the vast Roman amphitheater, which is one of the sixth largest and best preserved ancient Roman monuments in the entire world. Constructed between 27 BC and 68 AD, the amphitheater was once used for grazing, medieval fairs and occasional tournaments by the Knights of Malta. Today it is used as a stage for various concerts, opera, ballet, sports, competitions and Croatia's oldest film festival, the Pula Film Festival. While here, be sure to check out the arena's underground museum where a huge collection of amphorae, the vases that were once used to transport wines, olive oils and other products. In the nearby Fazan city, there's an archaeological site with the largest collection of amphorae in the world. Take a dive at the local beaches. After hours of sightseeing, you can head to the Adriatic Sea, which looks especially tempting on those hot summer days in July and August. A few kilometers up or down the shoreline, you'll find a total of 13 beaches. Few of these beaches resemble the traditional image of a big sandy bay. Istria's beaches, for example, are either hidden coves with rocks that you can dive off or small arcs of white shingle. Monte Beach, on the other hand, is enclosed on three sides by rock, making it ideal for water sporting activities. For a more secluded vibe, you can visit the Pebble Beach at Lone Bay, which is fringed by pine forest and furnished with sun lounges. Interact with raw nature at the Briuni National Park. If you are a nature lover, catch a ferry from the seaside town of Fazana to Veli Briun, the largest island in the remarkable Briuni National Park. Officially declared a national park in 1983, this paradise on earth is a popular tourist destination thanks to its fascinating natural and human history. If you are travelling with your little ones, the park is home to multiple animal and plant species and a safari tour is bound to delight them. Looking to experience the island on two wheels instead? Rent a bike on Veliki Briun for three hours and take on the 13.3 km long cycling trail as you marvel at breathtaking landscapes and exotic animals. From the bicycle, you can visit Ferragay Bay to discover ancient ruins of the 1st century Roman villa, the 15th century Gothic chapel of Saint Germain, the 200 million year old dinosaur footprints and the Tito on Briuni photo exhibition. The massive size of Briuni provides plenty of nice swimming spots and a trip here would be incomplete without taking a dive. The educational underwater trail in Veragay Bay, in particular, is one of the absolute showstoppers here. It comes with a special underwater audio experience where you get to swim the entire 500 meter long swimming trail with a mask and snorkel as you listen to audio commands from the land. As the evening starts sweeping in, you can wind down your day playing tennis in the shade of pine trees or playing golf on the 18 hole golf course. Try shipwreck scuba diving. Whether you're an expert or learning your way up the ropes, it's equally a good idea to include scuba diving in your Ravi itinerary. Here, everything is almost tailor-made for this activity. The sea is relatively smooth and safe, and the underbellies are brimming with rich marine life. The most popular scuba diving site in Ravi is the Baron Gautsk's shipwreck. Sunk in 1914, this passenger steamer is located 12.5 nautical miles off the coast of Ravi and it lies at depths of 28 to 40 meters along with being the best preserved shipwreck in the whole of Croatia. It is also the most visited attracting hundreds of scuba diving enthusiasts from around the world every year. Capture Instagrammable Moments at Ravi Port The best views and Instagrammable moments in Ravi can be captured at the city's port, located on the Istrian Peninsula, just near the residence Marco Polo. The harbour has charming scenery lined with beautifully painted houses and calm blue seas. 
adding the campanile of St. Euphemia Church in the background and you have the perfect spot to capture those memorable moments with family and friends. To get a different background or even capture the surrounding areas, turn towards the sea and you'll witness a working pot in action with fishermen setting out, coming home or even mending nets on the jetty. So which of these places in Rovi, Croatia did you like the most? Is it the old town? The Brienne National Park perhaps? Be sure to comment down below and we will be happy to read and respond to your comments.